Welcome to another prayer time and uh, once again pleased to be able to lead us in prayer. This first prayer that I've got today to share with us is a prayer written by the Reverend, no she's not a Reverend, Didju Palmer. Didju Palmer who is uh, a former president of the Uniting Church Assembly, the national body. So let us come before God in prayer. Gracious and loving God, you call us to love you with our whole being and love our neighbours as ourselves. At this time of upheaval and distress for nations and people across our world, may your love hold us together. May your love be the lens through which we see each other and your world. Lord Jesus Christ, you are present with us as one who knows our suffering. Bring comfort and peace to all those who are grieving the loss of loved ones, work, connection and hope for the future. May we embody your compassion, responding to the suffering of our neighbours, our families, our friends and strangers with generosity. Life-giving Spirit, you weave us together as the body of Christ. Strengthen our life together, even though we are physically separated. Nurture us in faith and discipleship, that we may bear witness through our living to your abundant grace and liberating hope for all people and the whole creation through Christ our life and hope we pray amen now this second prayer is by the reverend marian bissett who is a minister in the presbytery of gippsland in the uniting church and it starts with a, a verse of um, a song. I'm not going to sing it for you, but I'll read it. So let us pray. O God, hear our prayer. O God, hear our prayer. When I call, answer me. O God, hear our prayer. O God, hear our prayer. Come and listen to me. We pray for the whole creation. May all things work together for good, and to by your design all may inherit the earth. We pray for the church, begun and maintained by the Holy Spirit and through the people. May your will be always an act of outward mission. We remember the countries who are in conflict, Ukraine, Russia, Yemen, Sudan, Israel, Palestine, PNG, and Lord, we know the list is simply too long. May we all work with our known neighbour to create and to promote goodwill. We pray for those who are poor those who are hungry, those who do not have adequate or any housing, those who are unwell in mind or in body, those who are dying. We pray for people everywhere. May they come into their own as children of God and inherit the kingdom of God. Through Christ we pray. Amen. And this last prayer is also written by the Reverend Jenny Gordon, who is also in the Presbytery of Gippsland, one of the Presbytery ministers down there. So let us pray. Spirit of hospitality, we pray for people who struggle to find shelter in these cold winter nights. We pray for those who long to be gathered in the warmth and safety of decent housing and good company. And we ask your blessing on organisations who are making a difference, offering care, comfort and compassion. Spirit of justice, we pray for people who must work in unethical situations, here and across the world. 
for those experiencing slavery and degrading work in poor conditions without adequate payment. Bless the ones who are challenging the greed of corporations that put profits before people, exposing the human cost of our thoughtless and unrestrained consumerism. Spirit of the land, we pray for Indigenous peoples across the world. May the women's wisdom and knowledge be preserved and passed on, enabling us all to be more carefully connected with each other, with all of creation and with you. Spirit of grace, we pray also today for those places and people in our hearts. In the quiet, we name them, those people for whom we wish to remember. Loving God, we bring these people to you, the situations that they're in, the difficulties that they face in life, the complexity of life. For some, there might be mental health issues. For others, other illnesses. For some, they might be lonely, fearful, uncertain. Lord, we remember them all, people known to us, and we ask your blessing. We offer this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me in this time of prayer. Really appreciate it that you come and join every couple of weeks. And I look forward to you joining me again in uh, early next month, in early September. And my, how the year is flying by. Until then, may God be with you and God bless you. Amen.